for you this design into covers in this day and age? Um, okay, so uh, before Serenine started the company, uh, a lot of people told us, uh, asked us why we wanted to design books. Like, you know, because uh, print is going to be a dying trend and it probably is already, but um, we still believe in books and we always, you know, we love reading, for one, that's the main thing. Um, and yeah, we understand that digital is, is, is booming and it's easier for people um, in this fast-paced uh, age. Um, but we feel like the tactility of, of, of reading the book is actually very important um, to us and you know the smell, engaging basically your senses, uh, you know the smell, the touch of a book. Um, every book has a different say printing technique, you know, on the cover or even the different textures on the paper. So um, to us, uh, yeah, it's very important and it's very engaging as well. Um, you know, you have different smells as well when I, I'm sure a lot of you um, buy a new book and then stuff your face in it before even reading what's on the synopsis. But um, in terms of also the cover design, um, again, printing techniques you know, play a big, big part when you're designing. So when we're designing a book, um, you know, having it on a digital screen, like when an e-book is, is, uh, is flat, right? And you have certain colours, so you don't have much to do, you know, just uh, image, text, or you know, the design is there. But when you take it to print, uh, you can think about you know, you want uh, an emboss, you know, what kind of textures you want. Is there a gold uh, uh, stamp, which is uh, the gold shine that you see in some of the books, uh, on the book covers? Uh, then we also have to think about the spine, uh, you know, how it looks like on the shelf. So, um, you know, but by ebooks, you can you probably only need to think about the front cover and, and the back. Usually it's just a fun, fun cover. Um, yeah, and then... <laughs> so I, I think you kind of talk about like why you want to do it because why you love the books and all that. So yeah. is there a difference between like I, I'm sure some of your books also do go to e-books at the end, right? So is there a difference in it when it's actual or physical book versus a e-book cover? Uh, yes. Okay. So we do mostly printed books as you may have known. Um, I think we've only done a couple of e-books, e but um, these e-books were derived from books that we've already designed for print, so translating it again into the e-book thing, yeah? So, the difference is that the way we design the file for printing is, you know, we use a certain, uh, we use a certain software, right? Okay, very technical here. <laughs> yeah, so we, Okay, I'm trying not to name any software, there, but we use a certain software to design uh, a printed book, for example. But translating it into um, an ebook is not just about like exporting it into PDF. You know, there's different settings that you have to uh, take into account. And like for ebooks, there are things, there are um, different uh, modes, right? So you have. Uh, uh, I think on Kindle you can adjust the font size and everything. So, in that sense, whatever font we pick for the book is totally gone out the window. The layouts are all gone out the window because for e-books, the you want the text to run, and then you have to use the font inside Kindle and everything. So it, there's not really much of a design. Uh, so you kind of lose control. Of you that, lose control that. unless it's like this fixed layout whereby you don't even change anything. So if each page is like a picture, but um, some people can't read it then. And because Kindle only comes in black and white, so yeah. know, there's no color. Okay, so going on from design, now we're going to talk about reading. You, you mentioned that both both of you, I think, love reading a lot. And uh, so, what does reading for happiness? You know, today our theme for Read Fest this year is in pursuit of happiness. So, what does reading for happiness mean to you? How do you read for happiness? Versus reading for work, I suppose. So I think ironically, um, the things we love about reading and designing books have sort of made us a bit sian. <laughs> because like, okay, the reason why we like to read is because we like paper, right? We like print, we like touch, like tangible things. But then now when we receive manuscripts from authors that are on Microsoft Word, then we copy and paste book on the design. Then it's all like on the computer. <laughs> then by the time the book is printed, we finish reading it already. <laughs> The irony of it is we are reading on the screen, right? So our eyes get damn pain. So, like, I don't wear glasses, but suddenly I have to wear some funny movie glasses. 
Yeah, so, um, yeah, but I mean, we still definitely prefer to, uh, we definitely do like reading. I think that there's a culture that is really lacking in, like, especially the youth today. Um, it's, it's very interesting, I think, when I was younger, I used to read so much that my mom would get very angry with me because I would constantly be, like, sipping a book. I literally would be in the shower and then my book is in front of the shampoo bottle. And I'm still reading as I'm showering. <laughs> Like my degree for like my specs is really really bad because like when I was young I just could not stop reading. And so yeah, so that was the question. What does reading for happiness mean to you? Right now, you know, you always say it always very safe because now you're yeah. thinking of hyper software, but you still read outside of that. Uh, how do you kind of read for happiness? How do you get happiness? So I think the beauty of reading itself is a really um, uh, a happy thing. I mean, if you are you should understand the thought of being transported to a completely different world or different culture or different characters. I mean, I think some people might see the same way when they are watching like, shows on Netflix, right? Like, I'm a big fan of Grey's Anatomy, so like, I feel like everybody has this very different show. So it's the same thing for a book. I think also when you look, I think one of the questions from the class is that like, why do I feel so sad when they are like, finishing shows? And I think it's because like, you know that you don't have to share with your friends, your friends, your friends, your friends. I think the feeling, you just feel like you've left a part of you inside the book as well. Uh, and yeah, it's, that's, that's one of the reasons why some of us never finish reading a book because we just didn't want it to end. And you want to feel like you always can go back to the book. That's why I, I guess, you know, you always, if you borrow a book, there are some people who like to underline or, you know, you, you have your own way of doing things and highlighting like quotes and all that. So it's nice to always go back into that um, and remember, you know, like, what this person, what this author wrote, and then how you felt at the time. So, I'm sure a lot, everyone here also loves reading as well. No, I love reading as well when I was younger as well. I used to read one book a day when I was in primary school. But I don't think got time to study. <laughs> I think I just, but it's good, reading also uh, opens your horizons and all that as well. Okay, why don't we take a look at some of the questions here.